This week at COP, let's start with an exciting update about two of our baby branches as their construction programs steadily move ahead. At COP Isabella, where, by the way, 28 additional new souls were saved this week, Pastora Adrich and Brother Errol, our COP engineer, have great news about the building as the body of the building is made in China. Steel fabrication has been completed. Columns, beams, trusses, purlins, roof and claddings are now scheduled to depart from China this very weekend. It will all arrive in the Manila port in just two weeks. On site in Isabella, they are placing concrete for the foundation and pedestal in preparation for the steel arrival. Meanwhile, at COP Romblon, the China fabrication of steel has been completed. They finished the steel deck, stair stringer, columns, beams, trusses, and claddings. This will be transferred to a local vessel upon arrival in the port of Manila and delivered to the Cebuyan Island Romblon. At Romblon, the ground tie beam installation and canal installation is completed, while ongoing is the backfilling work and the casting of the anchor bolt. Let's keep praying for these two exciting projects, COP, New Altars for God in the Earth. This week at COP Go 200, let's peek in at our missions work in Gumaca, Quezon Province. The work was started in January 2021 by our faithful leaders, the Bobaras couple. The group they started were meeting via messenger call. From an initial group of nine, the meetings quickly grew to 30 to 50 and then to 60 attending, all on Zoom or Messenger Room. Then, one of the new believers offered a place for a physical face-to-face -face meeting, and they set up a giant TV with internet. Currently, there are 86 active new believers attending weekly services and Go groups, and 31 have been water baptized so far. Please let us know if you have relatives or friends in the area. We would love to reach out to them. This week at COP, we rejoice with souls being saved. Heaven gained another one as District 3 held Trio Crusades and 21 were saved. At North Campus, where Trio is currently ongoing, another 171 souls have been saved in online trios. We praise God with our mighty men in uniform as 270 policemen in training were saved at an outreach in Pampanga. Also with the mighty men in uniform, 225 uniform personnel were saved among police, Manila traffic enforcers, security officers, and persons under police custody. This week at COP, we praise God for His blessings poured out on our brothers and sisters. Last week, we said the Bulo family dedicated a car to the Lord. Well, this week, they dedicated another one. From North, Lily Beth Cruz dedicated her Suzuki. From COP Lawag's Vintar Satellite, Benedict and Gary Sell Flores started by renting a commercial space for their business, but were praying for a lot to build their very own. In 2020, they dedicated that lot to the Lord and gradually built their cafe. Now, praise God, they were able to dedicate the opening of their cafe. And, praise God, their employees were saved and now attend services. And finally, from Nai, Moses and Diane dedicated their home to the Lord, praising God also for their promotions at work. It has been another great week at COP.